Hey, I'm not going to be doing these lives all the time, so don't worry. I just was going to try to show you how to do our baguettes. And it's too hard. There's too many stories. Those little Instagram stories are like 15 seconds. So I know we have some new followers, and I want you to know this French baguette recipe because from start to finish, this takes 30 minutes. So for our old followers that have been already following us, just maybe skip over it. But I'll give you a couple of tips that maybe you don't know. This is not going to be long, I promise. Can anybody see me? really fast and I'm just going to show you really fast how to make these baguettes because I want you to make them. This is awesome. Okay, you can see me? Okay. Okay, so this is going to be super, super, super fast, okay? So you need to invest in a baguette pan, okay? You can get this anywhere. It's very cheap if you have a kitchen outlet store. Um, William Sonoma, Amazon, you can buy this anywhere. There's some with holes and some without. I have both and I love both, but you need to invest in this because this is what's gonna make the true authentic um, shape of your baguette, okay? So we need this. I promise this is not going to be long. Last time it was too long. So let me show you. So we have our half a cup of water and for the yeast, okay? And I've told you before, that how you test your water when you're making bread, you test it on your wrist, kind of like you would for a baby in the bathtub. Um, so you don't want it too cold and you don't want it too hot because you'll kill your yeast either way, right? So I like to get this all-star yeast. If you ever wanna make a comment, you can, but I'm trying to go quickly so it's not an hour long. Um, so I, I, we like this all-star yeast. You get it at Costco, it's super cheap. Just so you know, you can keep this in your uh, Ziploc baggie in the freezer. It can last forever. It lasts forever in the freezer, okay? So that's a good tip to know. So we have our yeast with our water, and then we've added one teaspoon of sugar. So you see how good that is? That's a very good active yeast, right? So now we are done. So we've added our two other teaspoons of salt, our other teaspoon of sugar, and then we're gonna add the yeast. And you guys can add, you guys can make a comment anytime you want. Sorry if my family gets too loud. I am, I, I get nervous doing these, you guys, but those videos are just too short. I wanna show you really fast. Okay, so we've added this. Now, when a recipe calls for on bread, when it says like, this recipe says three and a half cups of flour. You never want to add all the flour, okay? Because depending on your flour, depending on the weather, um, it, you just never want to add all of it. You can always add more, but you can't take away, okay? So we're gonna put, anybody can say anything, okay? You can say anything if you want. I'm just trying to be fast. So we're gonna add two cups of flour. Oh no, I forgot to get my water, my one cup of water. One second, you need one cup of warm water, but I'm gonna show you how fast, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm back. Major baguettes tonight. Oh good, okay, great. Okay, so now you're gonna add your one full cup of water. How'd they turn out? So you're gonna add your one full cup of water, okay? Now you can make these in a KitchenAid or a Bosch, whatever, but we don't like to do that because it's just super fast to do it by hand, okay? So, okay, this is now the two cups of flour. Obviously we need more. So the, how you know when your bread is ready, um, the dough starts coming Oh, great, good, great. Okay, so now we're adding about another cup. So when you know your dough is done, your dough is gonna come away from the sides, okay? That's how you know it's done. So we're gonna mix. It's kind of hard to put it on the side. So I think the three cups is doing it perfectly. It's an arm workout, you guys. It's an arm workout. But I just wanna show you fast how you do this. 
So when the dough starts scraping away from the bowl, like I said, you're done. And that's exactly what this has done, okay? We have not added too much flour. Do you see this? When it starts coming away from your bowl, that's perfect. So I'm just in a rental and I have granite, which I know a lot of you do. It can be cold sometimes. Um, so I like to get down a, a kitchen, I mean like a breadboard. I like to knead it on that. So let me show you really fast. Um, there you go. Okay. Oh, I just dropped my phone. Oh no. Can you see me? Oh no. And it just flipped over. Oh my gosh, these lives are scary. Can you still see me now? They saw you. It went on me. Yeah. Um, can you see me now? Can you still see me? Oh my gosh. Chris, you're going to have to come hold this. Come hold this on me. Hold on. Hold on. Techni technical difficulties. Okay. So let me show you. So you're going to put a little bit of flour down. And then this is how you... No, it needs to be lower. It needs to be lower to show me. Yeah. Okay, so this is how you knead your dough, okay? You take like a corner, you push it, and turn. Push, turn. Push, turn. Push, turn. Push, turn. Push, turn. Does this make sense? This is how you knead your dough. This is so fast. This is so fast. See how amazing this already is? We're done. We're done. Yeah, real life. Real life. I hate doing these, but ah, I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you to not have a million gazillion videos. Okay, where is my dough? Hold on. Oh my gosh. Where is my dough scraper? Where is my dough scraper? Where is my dough scraper? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I wasn't ready, I guess. You need to invest in a dough scraper. This is the greatest tool you will ever have. And I love to use it for my pizza dough, my baguette, my baguettes, everything, because you can cut it and then it scrapes it off of the counters as well, okay? So you're gonna cut your dough into two halves and then you're gonna kinda just roll it like a hot dog. It needs to be a little lower for a second. You're just gonna roll it like a hot dog, okay? So you're gonna push from the middle, out. Push from the middle, out. Push from the middle, out. So you kind of have like a big hot dog going on, right? So we have our baguette pan that's been sprayed with Pam, and then you're just gonna place it in your baguette. Look how easy this is. So now we've taken our other one. Can you guys see this? Can you see what I'm doing with this? You kind of roll it in, and then you're pushing from the middle out. Pushing from the middle out. Look how easy, okay? So then you do this. Okay, so now your baguettes are done. Now you slice it with a knife. Where's my knife? Okay. How are you flipping? I'll just film it. So now you cut down the middle like this. Okay. I'll film it. Cut down the middle like this. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. So now you're gonna flip it down the middle. I mean, you're gonna cut it down the middle, okay? And even when they don't look that pretty, they're always going to turn pretty. So now you need a towel. So now you're just gonna cover your baguettes with a towel. And if your kitchen is cold, what? Got a question. Oh, what is it? How long is your baguette pan, please? How long is it? Oh my gosh. Probably uh, like 18 inches. They're all about the same, are they not? I, I've never seen one that's like a different length. I've always seen them the exact same. So when your kitchen, your kitchen needs to be warm. So always have your oven going and try to raise this in a really warm spot. That's the best, okay? Now, the tip on how you know when your baguettes are ready to go is when you push your finger and it leaves an indent, which it already is, which is weird. It shouldn't be already, but that's when you know your dough is ready to go in the oven. So this is very, very, very fast. This is true, authentic French baguettes. Um, they're very good. Now, our longtime followers that have seen me do this before 
My other tip is, is that I was telling you the other day that you can freeze our bread. You can freeze really anything we have if you wanna make a freezer meal, anything, but when you wanna freeze our bread, you literally would take the baguette, so after you've cooked it and everything and you had a leftover one, you would put it in plastic wrap, okay, and just put it in the freezer and then take it out, let it unthaw, and this is the trick. You actually run your baguette under the water, okay, like really quickly, and then you throw it back in the oven and it's literally like you just made it that night. And then these baguettes are actually amazing for French toast, um, make sandwiches on these. We love to cut them and make a yummy like turkey, veggie sandwich. Anyways, they're so great. They're the fastest bread you will ever make for a dinner. So does anybody else have questions and I'll be done. If anybody else has a question, if not, I will be done. I just wanted to show this on a video how simple it is because so many people are so afraid of making it. Um, oh, my other tip, a lot of you keep asking about this, is my French rolling pin. And I actually got this one from Orson Gigi if you live in Utah. If you don't, I found it at the kitchen store. Um, any outlet has a kitchen store. It's $10. Okay, what's it? There's a question. What? It says, will you show how you put the water in the oven? Oh, yes. I don't always do that. I don't always do that. You can do that. Um, but what you would just do if you do do the oven, hold on. You would just get, you would just get a pan like this, um, like a pie plate, you fill it with water and then you put it at the bottom of your oven. But I will tell you most of the time, I don't do that. Most of the time I do not do that. What I do do is when my baguettes come out, I like to rub butter all over the top of them. It makes it really, really good. But most of the time I don't even do the water, but that's how you would do it. You would put it on the rack below where you're cooking the baguette. Anyways, is there anything else? Bed, bath and beyond sells them. Ba baguette pans? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. Amazon has them. Yeah, you can get will them post, anywhere. Will you post what it looks like after you, you bake them? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I will. But just so you know, I literally just started you from start to finish. This takes less than 30 minutes. It's amazing. And so when you need a good bread to whip up for any kind of dinner, um, we've got a church event coming on now. P kids are coming to our house and they are going to love the bread. Anyways, how, how long before you bake those loaves? Um... Really, they're supposed to just like 20 minutes. But like I said, you'll know these are rising really, really, really fast. See? And when you put an indent like this, they're actually ready to go. That's how you know if it stays, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. But this is so easy. Don't be afraid of making bread. Don't be afraid of it. Just know that you never add all the flour because you can always add, but you can't take away. So that's my most important tip. I will show you what they look like when they get out. Sorry, I'm not gonna make two hour long videos. Okay, should I? Thank you, hope you learned something. Was it